Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here and happy Saturday. Hopefully this is a great Saturday for you. Here's your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your executive order, action, memorandums, moratoriums, and stimulus package update for Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. Find out how the $2.2 trillion stimulus package that was passed on Thursday night means what it means for your check, also how it's heating up, how experts are providing optimism that the package will get passed, and find out who is urging the airlines to delay job cuts and how we could have a bill between the bills that they're literally going to pass completely after this. For the best news and information on mastering your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, you know $1,000 is coming. All you got to do is subscribe, like, and put a random comment in. And we're picking randomly. Somebody will win $1,000. We just gave away $900. Bucks. We had 100,000 subscribers, which were so close. Somebody's going to win that's from the random comments. So put them in the videos. Make sure you subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, just keep commenting in the videos. You up your chances to win. Also, grab a, a stock down below with Webull. Open an account for $100, and you get a free stock valued up to $1,600. It's amazing. But first, as we await on the Republican decision to pass the Democratic scaled-back version of a second stimulus package with the 2.222 tremulous, tremulous, trillion stimulus, here's how it can affect the stimulus check if it gets passed into law. The amount for the second check to be dispersed would be the same. It would include a $1,200 for individuals, $2,400 for joint filers, and $500 for qualified dependents. They're expanding that, which is great. Now, this scaled back package is scaled back because the Democrats were wanting that $3.4 trillion. They're back, they're down to $2.2 trillion. And of course, Pelosi is saying that's, that's where her number is. The package would also help continue that $600 per week federal pandemic unemployment compensation, the FPUC, the extra boost on top of our regular unemployment that everybody's getting through the end of the year if you apply for it. But this would be the extra boost, the good sweet boost that everybody enjoyed, which helped build the savings in America to the highest saving rate it's ever been in like a decade. According to Forbes, it would be retroactive back to September 6, 2020. So approximately 21 weeks of that enhanced unemployment benefit at $600 a week. That would be phenomenal. A check wired into your money wired into your account, just like people are getting now, it would be again. So there would be no real lapse. You would get the $300 with FEMA, but then you would get the $600. This is incredible if we can get this passed. Now, the last time the Republicans were talking about $400, so at least they're not talking about $200 with the Republicans anymore. So the House, the Democrats, $600, bucks, they are being generous. I love it. The House stimulus bill would also make changes to child and dependent tax credits. So child and dependent tax credits, that would help working families pay for their child care, which is tough right now, especially if one person is not able to work, and care for those incapacitated spouses or adult dependents. What if somebody's at home sick or can't go to work or just doesn't have a job? This would be very helpful. It would also provide $50 billion for emergency rental assistance. Yes, so if you have a rental property, you're, I mean, you're basically gonna get covered $50 billion in emergency rental assistance. It's desperately needed. We have a huge gap there, right? Everyone knows it, we're talking about it, you know it. It's like a pending thing out there. 21 billion for homeowner assistance, 21 billion for you homeowners that have homes. So we've got money for the rental, 50 billion for them. 21 billion for homeowner assistance. I think that's phenomenal. 400 billion in aid for state and local governments, which is up from the zero the Republicans had. So at least we're moving in the right direction. Republicans came up a little bit. I gotta give them that on their last bill. And 225 billion in supporting educational needs. This would help 
in the sense that we want to contain the virus and be able to have the safeguards for children, children to be safe and educated. They really need to vote on this law so that we can get help to so many working Americans and people that are sitting at home would like to, make, like to go to work and can make it through the winter and the rest of the holidays. Wouldn't that be a great holiday if we can just make sure that anybody who wants a job but can't get one at the current time could at least make it through the holidays without being in need of just basic food. Up next, Stephen Moore, an outside economic advisor to the White House, provided optimism in a recent interview with Business Insider. It's where we get the articles. We source hundreds of articles to find the good stuff. Moore stated, quote, I think it could be a good deal soon, even sooner than 10 days. I'd say right now the odds are 65% chance there will be a deal in the next two weeks. I happen to agree with him. There's a lot of movement and a lot of things shaking up right now. A potential deal needs deal between the White House and the Democrats need to gain enough Republican votes in the Senate so that it reaches Trump's desk for approval. We don't want the election to come and go when we've got people actually working on it to get elected. We've seen over the last few months that both sides want to pass something, but since the Democrats' New Deal is over $700 billion, $700 billion more than the Republicans' last bill, eh, we're, still, we're getting closer. Moore stated that Trump needed a victory here and a deal would help not only the country, but to help him in politics. In fact, anybody, any Republican who votes to get this through, because I got to point out that the Democrats at this point have been passing bills that would help people, and the Republicans have put no bills that will work. But they have offered separate bills that would fix certain things, like unemployment, and the Democrats won't go for it. So can't say they're, they both suck, right? Meanwhile, mean, uh, maybe the, this new deal will pressure Rep Republicans into passing that final final attempt for their election to be able to say, hey, I did the right thing, so vote for me. And good news, Pelosi is urging major airlines to delay more than 30,000 job cuts on Friday, saying that relief aid will come shortly. Yes, she said, put the pause button. That's a lot of risk for a politician to say that. So in a statement, Pelosi said that imminent support, yes, imminent support, would either come as part of the new relief package, the plan, if top policymakers can come to some kind of agreement, or to be part of a standalone bill. Now, this is the first time the Democrats, think about it, have agreed to a standalone bill. The layoffs and the furloughs are set to take place next week, right? We're, it's happening. It's coming close. So this comes as a slight shock because Pelosi has not been adamant about an aid legislation not be passed on a piecemeal basis. So for her to say this is so out of character that it makes me think that it'll happen because I believe the Republicans would vote for that. It would be Steven Mnuchin who would negotiate with Pelosi to provide more industry-specific aid for businesses struggling. So we definitely, I really think that will probably, I put it in the 85, 90% category, that's happening. Well, that was your stimulus check and your second stimulus check and your executive order action stimulus package update for Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please smash it. It helps with the algorithm. Subscribe and put a comment and guess what? You'll be entered to win that $1,000 that from a random comment. And you can put random comment. A lot of people see that in our comments. It says random comment. They crack up on the channel. They don't know our inside joke about that. So again, we hit 100,000 subscribers. Somebody's getting $1,000. My account to your account. I love you. Stay tuned to this channel. Take care and have a great weekend, please.